Hello. Hello and welcome to Herbal Meadows, your one-stop channel for all things RC and crafts. Uh, today we're going to be talking about batteries. This is my uh, wrap-up uh, for this season. Um, I had purchased a, a lot of batteries at the beginning of the season uh, and I thought I'd try out a variety and see how they worked. Um, this is, um, this is, I don't have any scientific tables, I didn't do any measurements. I can only tell you the, the amount of time I flew and how many laps I did in my quads and the length of time I flew in the, uh, in the larger units, uh, larger batteries, and uh, then the uh, batteries that were in the quads. Primarily these were purchased for, um, for my quadcopters. My planes pretty much will fly with any of these. These, uh, this is a Zippy Compact 2200. Um, I can fly some of my, uh, my Walrus glider. I can fly it until I get too tired to fly it anymore. So a good solid battery. I don't need to put in a, a heavy duty battery like the LIHV or the Graphene in flying a plane. So uh, these are good, good batteries. I don't use them in a quad uh, very much because um, I don't get that much flight time. Uh, they get drained pretty fast. And they, they, even the better ones have a higher internal resistance. So uh, flying, not very good for quads, uh, but I keep them on hand anyway. Now this is a, a Multistar 3 amp, uh, 3 cell. Now once I get into uh, these two batteries here, the, um, the 3 amp Multistar and the 2.7 amp uh, Turnigy, uh, these batteries I can use in both my quads and I can use them in the larger, in the larger format um, uh, quadcopters as well for FPV. So um, uh, these are good, these are good utility batteries. Uh, they'll do the job. They'll get you up flying and, and racing. They especially work uh, well in the FPV, the smaller FPV quads, when you're just going up and, and taking a look around and enjoying the view. So good batteries, reliable. I'll have links to these. Um, uh, down below that you can take a look at. Uh, this large battery here is I uh, use in, a, in my larger quad uh, that has two cameras and, and lots of gizmos on it. This is a four cell um, and it's, it's quite heavy, 5.2 amp. Uh, great flight times. I can fly for I'd say probably 10 minutes or more um, uh, using this battery uh, and it, it's good. Good price. It's a multi-star, 5.2 amp, and there'll be a link to this as well. I did purchase. That's going to bring us to the next part of the um, to the discussion. I did purchase two of the newer type batteries, and that is the LIHVs, uh, the high voltage, and the graphene batteries, just to extend my flight times. And I wanted to get rid of the weight of this big battery, uh, so I went and purchased a four-cell LIHV battery. I can tell you I wasn't very happy with it. Um, it is, um, I had problems with my voltage dropping precipitously and my quads dropping out of the sky causing damage. Uh, this never happened with any of these other batteries. These other batteries uh, didn't give me the, uh, that type of problem at all. I mean they would drain and get slower and you get notification that your battery is getting low and you could uh, come home. But with the uh, four cell of the LAHV, it just dropped um, uh, very quickly and you didn't even have time to actually do a controlled landing. So uh, I didn't have a lot of luck with the LIHV and the 4-cell. Uh, and I also didn't have very much luck in the LIHV 3-cell. This is a 2.4 amp LIHV. Uh, I had to buy a special charger when I purchased these. And you can notice here that all these batteries all fly in the quads, they all fly with the same characteristics. I, I stop flying um, when I get to 3.7. My warning is at 3.7 volts per cell, and I am definitely on the ground at 3.5 volts per cell under load. Uh, and when I land, a lot of times uh, my unloaded voltage is like 11.7 volts. So I'm not hard on these batteries. Uh, and I fly them all the same way, including these. And you can see after seasons of flying, they look like they're brand new. This lithium high voltage looks like it went through the Boer War. Uh, it's puffy. Uh, it looks like it's um, it looks like it, it it's uh, garbage. I do do the internal resistance test. It's still pretty low, but there's something in the chemistry in these uh, LIHV 
uh, that um, causes some problems. And I found that they were no better than the graphene batteries. Uh, I have got to tell you, I am impressed with the graphene. They give you as much flight time as the LAHVs. You don't need a special charger for them. The charger that you have now works. And the internal resistance is low. And you get the same amount of flight time. Cheaper. And these here, uh, I don't know. There's something wrong with these. From my standpoint, I haven't had a lot of success. Uh, maybe other people can uh, message me if they have any, uh, any, uh, if they've had any issues with the LAHV. But uh, I'm definitely not happy. I would not recommend at this point. Maybe it's just me, but uh, as I said, there's other members in our club that's had problems with them as well. We've had no problems with the graphene batteries. Links to all of these will be uh, uh, down below. So in conclusion, uh, the standard batteries, if you're flying uh, quads or multi-rotors, um, if you're going, doing, using the three-cell, get the higher amperage, you'll get a fairly good flight time. Uh, you will not with a 2.2 amp, uh, with this weird type of battery, 2.2 amp, you're not going to get much of a flight time uh, using this little battery. It's just not going to do the job. But once you get up to a 2.7 to 3 amp in a three-cell uh, for the racing quad, you're going to get some pretty good, uh, pretty good flight times with those. Uh, as far as the graphenes, the new graphenes in the LAHV, I at this point I would not recommend getting the LAHV because of having to buy the the, the charger, and you can get just as uh, you can get the same performance out of the graphene battery, and you can use your existing charger with it, which is which is a big plus. Uh, now. Others may uh, buy the LHV and have success. Didn't work for me. So I'm going to say, and this has been a whole season of flying and flying experience. I'm going to say for extending your flight times uh, using your quads, get the graphene batteries. You're not going to be disappointed. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time at Emerald Meadows. Bye-bye for now.